Would you ever say in the British bitch on the blog on a fucking zoom up back on your FYP like I never left and I'm always better when I come back bitches. Anyways, I was enjoying life here. Little did I know how it's a king. You are going down. Guys, also, do you guys actually know where Mukhodi is from? Like, which body part from the animal? Just search that and get back to me. Anyways, it was a family day. I was shooting, but then my family came. My dad washed my car. My mom did my laundry. My mom would clean my entire place. And on this video, I actually realized that I don't have a kettle and a toaster. So we'll buy that later, okay? I also like eating salad, like, in a big bowl like the Kardashians little did I know that a week from that time I was gonna be the South African version of Kim motherfucking Kardashian <laughs> anyways uh, we were going to Guiana guys this was a very very hectic weekend I was booked and busy so 6 a.m. I was up I went to my brother's place and I forced him to make us pub because he makes the best kind of pub for our entire team anyways we headed to Guiana it was a very very bad um, but after that we came back to Midrand because we stayed there for probably 20 minutes and you know what we have the best best moments me and my best friend and my brother like the three of us like we were so high here we had edibles and in the morning we were back again to other gigs and I mean it, it gets so exciting every time I go to a gig and people scream my name like I don't even know what to say because it was just me screaming <laughs> someone else's name two years ago ah. also guys this weed is a weed that usually fucks us up but i'm gonna give you guys um a plug in the comments here i was heading to cape town uh, for work and for a couple of things also but let me tell you guys this is how it actually is when the plane has to land for in case it doesn't land properly and we die so we won't be able to see each other <laughs> anyways we got there it was time to party it was time to just show myself out and off okay i then uh, started with more ways you know that's my rider my usual rider and then i came with an ace couple with some to and i'm a little bit 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 and a little bit and i'm a little bit and i'm a little bit and i'm a little bit Guys, also here my sneaky link. Actually, my favorite ex, because we broke up. Like he was fighting me over over drinking. Does that even make sense? Because he's the one that buys me all these expensive alcohol. But anyways, who wanna vela or motor? No, no, no. Food looks necessary. Kuru not the distance. Ha, kaza mai bi laka ubara vela ka uba ex so mansur ki fitli lele mu keep town. But anyways, shampoo like we took. But we move on. I met my friends um in Cape Town also at the airport. Uh, but we didn't travel together. They traveled two hours before me because I have this bad badass habit of booking immediately when I'm on my way to the airport. Kira kizi fitli sa tata kizur ki na man what's king? Anyways, I got to <laughs> Tembisa. I had a gig at Tembisa. Maybe this guy had a feeling that, yeah, no. I cannot move to, but I had to pressurize the niggas that were there, that were facetting me to, to, to be able to afford more than what I bought, okay? Next day again, next gig. <laughs> Anyways, we got back home. My brother was overly high, guys. I had to record this for him, though. So I'm sorry for putting it here. I'm not trying to expose him. Okay. Another day, another zoo. I was performing in, I think this was Tembisa. It was really, really a great performance. I was here with, like, my entire family. My friends, my cousins, everyone. And we had so much fun. Um, and I really just realized that my team might actually be crashing on me because this is abnormal. Like, hello? That's my room manager. Guys, didn't we get stuck? on our way to PLK, but we eventually got there by the grace of God, okay? Like, we pushed to make sure that we get there. The devil was fighting us throughout the entire week. Hey, see, flu. Kiyo, trenda, hey, so, trenda, kiri, koloidi, astaka, mara, wira, lang, mara, sisa, lang, ritlo, pila, ritlo, kona. Anyways, guys, um, I was performing at Moloko here. This was my birthday celebration. Um, we were chilling with the big bosses. If you can see, you can see, you know. And oh my gosh, my brother was so excited because we hear about this one celebrity all the time. Like, he's so obsessed with him. Like, he, every, boy, wherever we go long distance, like, he's going to play all his songs. We know them by force. We know his songs by force. But no, guys, next time we decided that I was actually very sick. I had the worst kind of flu. Flu yeri tonsils. I had to steam. I had to drink so many met lemon. I had to boil so many stones. Like yo, and I had a gig in Durban, so we had to push. Anyways, guess what? <laughs> Finally, I got the kettle, and I really, really wanted to save it to get this specific kettle, guys. This is the new mat kettle and the new mat toaster. Okay, in person, it's even beyond perfect, guys. This was 10k, both of them, and. 
my best friend got me flowers. I have a lot of best friends, but at least they're all gay, so I don't have fake bitches in my life. Um, and then we got to Durban. Actually, this is Peter Maris Beck. They corrected me. It's in KZN, I think. So this was a very good gig. A lot of people were excited to see me, guys. I was also excited to see you guys. It was good vibes in the morning. I had, you know what? I'm in my lemon tea era, okay? Like, I'm not trying to, like, drink. I'm not trying to do a lot of baddie girl stuff, you know? And my brother made me mad lemon. He's, like, the best brother in the world, guys. Like, he's, like, my sponge when I need to soak up. Sorry, he's, like, my best friend. He's, like, my everything. Like, whenever I fall, he'll pick me up. Like, guys, what if we still meet? Like, no, I really got that. It was different soulmates. Anyways, that thing on the corner, I bought it here actually because um, it was just for content. And then people in my comments started saying, Anyways, I got home. It was the official day of rest. Tomorrow, we're heading out again to Botswana. And I asked my MC to make me a porridge. And let me tell you guys, the best porridge is when you put rama in and sugar and you mix it, okay? It's like the best thing in the world. But anyway.